Robert Emerson Lucas Jr. born September 15, 1937, is an American economist at the University of Chicago, where he is currently the John Dewey Distinguished Service Professor Emeritus in Economics and the College. Widely regarded as the central figure in the development of the new classical approach to macroeconomics, he received the Nobel Prize in Economics in 1995. He has been characterized by N. Gregory Mankiw as the most influential macroeconomist of the last quarter of the 20th century. Biography Lucas was born in 1937 in Yakima, Washington, and was the eldest child of Robert Emerson Lucas and Jane Templeton Lucas. Lucas received his B.A. in History in 1959 from the University of Chicago. While he was attending University of California, Berkeley as a graduate student in 1959, Lucas left Berkeley due to financial reasons and returned to Chicago in 1960, earning a Ph.D. in economics in 1964. His dissertation, Substitution Between Labor and Capital in U.S. Manufacturing, 1929-1958, was written under the supervision of Arnold Harberger and H. Greg Lewis. Lucas studied economics for his Ph.D. on quasi-Marxist grounds. He believed that economics was the true driver of history, and so he planned to immerse himself fully in economics and then return to the history department. Following his graduation, Lucas taught at the Graduate School of Industrial Administration now Tepper School of Business at Carnegie Mellon University until 1975, when he returned to the University of Chicago. After his divorce from Rita Lucas, he married Nancy Stokey. They have collaborated in papers on growth theory, public finance, and monetary theory. Lucas has two sons, Stephen Lucas and Joseph Lucas. A collection of his papers is housed at the Rubenstein Library at Duke University. Topic. Contributions Topic. Rational expectations Lucas is well known for his investigations into the implications of the assumption of the rational expectations theory. Lucas 1972 incorporates the idea of rational expectations into a dynamic general equilibrium model. The agents in Lucas's model are rational, based on the available information, they form expectations about future prices and quantities, and based on these expectations they act to maximize their expected lifetime utility. He also provided sound theory fundamental to Milton Friedman and Edmund Phelps's view of the long-run neutrality of money, and provide an explanation of the correlation between output and inflation, depicted by the Phillips curve. Topic. Lucas critique Lucas 1976 challenged the foundations of macroeconomic theory previously dominated by the Keynesian economics approach, arguing that a macroeconomic model should be built as an aggregated version of microeconomic models while noting that aggregation in the theoretical sense may not be possible within a given model. He developed the Lucas critique of economic policymaking, which holds that relationships that appear to hold in the economy, such as an apparent relationship between inflation and unemployment, could change in response to changes in economic policy. That led to the development of new classical macroeconomics and the drive towards microeconomic foundations for macroeconomic theory. Other contributions Lucas developed a theory of supply that suggests people can be tricked by unsystematic monetary policy, the Yuzawa-Lucas model with Hirofumi Yuzawa of human capital accumulation, and the Lucas paradox, which considers why more capital does not flow from developed countries to developing countries. Lucas 1988 is a seminal contribution in the economic development and growth literature. Lucas and Paul Romer heralded the birth of endogenous growth theory and the resurgence of research on economic growth in the late 1980s and the 1990s. He also contributed foundational contributions to behavioral economics, and provided the intellectual foundation for the understanding of deviations from the law of one price based on the irrationality of investors. In 2003, he stated, about five years before the Great Recession, that the Central problem of depression prevention has been solved, for all practical purposes, and has in fact been solved for many decades. 
Topic: Bibliography. Lucas, Robert 1972. Expectations and the Neutrality of Money. PDF. Journal of Economic Theory, 4, 2, 103 to 24. Doi 10.1016/0022-0531-72-90142-1. Lucas, Robert 1976. Econometric Policy Evaluation: A Critique. Carnegie Rochester Conference Series on Public Policy, 119-46. Doi 10.1016/s01672231768000300371. Lucas, Robert. 1988. On the Mechanics of Economic Development. Journal of Monetary Economics, 22, 1, 3 to 42. Doi 10.1016/0304-3932-88-90168-7. Lucas, Robert 1990. Why Doesn't Capital Flow from Rich to Poor Countries? American Economic Review, 80-92-96. JSTOR 2006549. Lucas, Robert 1981. Studies in Business Cycle Theory. MIT Press. ISBN 0-262-62044-8. Lucas, Robert 1995. Monetary Neutrality. Prize Lecture 1995 Nobel Prize in Economics, December 7, 1995 Stokey, Nancy, Robert Lucas, and Edward Prescott 1989, Recursive Methods in Economic Dynamics. Harvard University Press, ISBN 0-674-75096-9. Lucas, Robert E. Jr. The History and Future of Economic Growth. The 4% Solution, Unleashing the Economic Growth America Needs, edited by Brendan Miniter. New York, Crown Business, 2012. Topic. See also Welfare cost of business cycles List of economists Lucas Islands model Topic. Notes Topic. References Galbix, Peter The Theory of New Classical Macroeconomics. A Positive Critique. Heidelberg, New York, Dordrecht, London, Springer. doi.10.1007.978-3-319-1701-1. ISBN 978-3-319-17578-2. Casper, Cheryl. The Revival of Laissez-Faire in American Macroeconomic Theory, A Case Study of Its Pioneers 2002 ch. 7 External links Robert E. Lucas Jr.'s website at University of Chicago Biography Robert E. Lucas Jr. Autobiography Nobel Prize Press Release Ideas, Repic Interview on Channel 4 Chicago Economics on Trial Robert E. Lucas, Jr. 1937. The Concise Encyclopedia of Economics. Library of Economics and Liberty 2nd ed. Liberty Fund, 2008. Interviews with Robert Lucas as part of the Nobel Perspectives Project.